Hi! In this video, we'll take a tour of Unity's interface. This is the Unity Editor. The Unity Editor is a powerful tool that has everything you need to make your game. You'll also notice that there are a lot of different windows and buttons, and it can be easy to get overwhelmed by all the cool things Unity can do. Today, we'll take it slow and explore the main components of Unity's editor. The first key part of the Unity editor is the toolbar. You can find the toolbar at the very top of the editor. There are three important parts to the toolbar. The left side of the toolbar has important tools for working with scene view and the game objects that are in the scene. What are game objects in a scene, you ask? Well, let's take a quick tour from the editor and learn these important terms. Game objects in Unity are the basic fundamental objects that can be used as characters, props, and scenery. They are the fundamental building blocks of everything that you see or interact with in your game, such as the player, items to collect, or an obstacle or climbable structure. Simple game objects are directly available within Unity, such as a sphere, a cube, or a cylinder, and they can also be created from an imported asset or a file created by someone else for others to use in their games. Unity offers many free or paid assets from the Unity Asset Store online. Each game object is created and stored in a scene. The scene is where your game takes place. It includes the environment and the obstacles that your character will interact with. You can think of it as a level in your game. A simple game can have one scene, while a complex game will have many, many scenes. When you create a blank 3D project, the default scene is empty except for a light. All right, back to the toolbar. The middle of the toolbar has buttons to play, pause, and step through your game. And the right side of the toolbar has buttons to access Unity Collaborate, the cloud, your Unity account, and the layout of the editor. You should recognize the Collaborate button from the previous lesson. The game view and scene view are in the middle of the editor, and you can toggle between them. In the scene view, you can edit and move around the scene. The game view gives you a preview of what your game will look like. The hierarchy window shows each of the game objects in the scene. If we add a cube to our project, we'll see it listed in the hierarchy window. The inspector window shows you all the different properties of each game object. When you click on a game object in the hierarchy window, you will see all of the components of that specific game object. Components are all of the characteristics of that object, such as where it is, what it looks like, and what it does. The project window shows all of the files in your project. A lot of times, these are assets, or files that you have imported into your program. As you can see, there's a lot going on in the Unity editor. To make it easier to navigate, Unity has some great keyboard shortcuts. You can find the keyboard shortcuts within the Unity editor. There are a ton of keyboard shortcuts, and you'll have a chance to explore a few later in this lesson. As you start to get a feel for the Unity interface and the different components of creating a game, you'll start to identify which shortcuts are the most helpful for you. Now that you've gotten a tour of Unity's interface, it's your turn to explore.